Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough with Patrick Hathaway, and we are playing through the Return to the Path to Carcosa. We are up at Return to the A Phantom of Truth scenario, and uh, last time we were just barely able to escape the asylum, and because we had the random um, basic weakness in our deck that basically took out uh, the two XP we earned in that scenario. We didn't have any uh, XP to upgrade the deck, so I haven't made any changes to the deck between scenarios. So uh, we can just start this scenario by figuring out the tarot reading. So as we have been doing, we have been doing the balance reading throughout this campaign. And, and we also have the damned weakness in play, which will draw one uh, reversed tarot card extra. So we have two reversed and one upright. And we'll see what we get this time. So I'm just doing a quick shuffle to the tarot deck. Uh, first card will be this one. So we get the devil. Each investigator has one additional slot, slot of a type chosen by that investigator when the game begins. Uh, well, uh, well, I'll pick the ally slot, because why not? Then uh, the first downright is the lovers. When the game begins, each investigator searches their deck for an ally asset, removes it from the game and shuffles their deck. Okay, well, that <laughs> that is a bad one. And lastly, we have the High Priestess, so let's just read that. So, during the first uh, intellect test, each investigator performs its round, they get minus one intellect. So that is annoying, because we really want to succeed at investigating, but it is what it is. So, that is the tarot reading, we are pretty much ready to begin. So uh, we'll just do these steps first. So we have to uh, remove one ally from the deck. So I'm just removing one mysterious raven, perhaps. Or let's remove the stray cat. So this is removed. And that's it. We shuffle our deck. And we have an extra ally slot, which uh, might come in useful if we get Miss Doyle down and then we want to get the Raven down. So we are ready to begin. Just place these cards here and there. So we are ready to begin. So let's get started. We'll go into the first round, so we'll draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we reshuffle the man in the pallet mask. We get the spectral razor, man on dexterity guts, spectral razor, and shriveling. I'll keep the shriveling, I'll just chug the rest. Or did we have perception? No. So. Two, three, four. Okay, that. Okay, and we got the lost soul weakness also into our deck at the start of this scenario. Otherwise, the interlude and the rest didn't affect us that much. So we get uh, drawn to the flame, read the signs, open gate, and moonstone. Uh, I think I'll play the shriveling down. I'll get a resource and uh, then I'll have enough resources to play the moonstone when, once it's discarded. So that will be our turn. Okay, well, let's start by playing the shriveling. There are a lot of Baya keys and stuff like that in this scenario, so... And of course, um, there is that uh, we are 
probably if I remember correctly, we are chasing the organist, not running away, so we need to have a way to fight. I think. Okay, so second action, I'll grab a resource. And last action, we will draw onto the flame here. So we get an encounter card. Okay, so a stealthy by a key. Okay. So this will really hit us. So that that is a shame. A bit bad start for us. But we got this clue at least. And then we go to enemy phase. This hits us for two damage. One horror. We'll go to upkeep. We discard our hand. Uh, we'll get this in play. And we gain a resource. And one, two, three, four, five. Last chance, six cents, unexpected curse, man in the pallet mask. We'll go at the furthest location. Oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, so it's right over there in the graveyard or cemetery. And uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and we add a doom. One of six and counter card for this round is uh, Twisted to his will. If there is no doom in play, Twisted to his will gets searched. Otherwise, test willpower X, where X is the amount of doom in play. If you fail, discard two cards from your hand at random. Uh, we are testing uh, five versus one. <laughs> and it is an auto fail. Discard two cards at random from your hand. Well, this is turning out to be a really unfortunate game, but it is what it is. So we lose uh, unexpected courage and the last chance. Well, um, yeah, at least we have the Raven to play, but that's about it. We would have wanted to get the six cents, but yeah, we still need to defeat this uh, Bayaki. Uh, let's see, we are fighting. Uh, five versus five. <laughs> yeah, we just try to free the fire. Keep five versus five and hope to get lucky. Skull is minus X, X is the amount of doom in play. So minus one, we fail and we take a horror because of the skull token. We'll try again. Tablet. Uh, tablet is a minus three. Cancel the effects and icons of each skill card committed to this test. Well, that is zero, but we still take a horror. Uh, this is not going well. Last chance. We'll try to kill the Bayaki off. So, yeah, we don't have anything to commit, so we'll just try to be lucky. Minus four, well, we didn't hit. The Bayaki hits us for two damage. And one horror, so we're nearly dead. But that is that round, so we discard our hand, draw five more cards, one. Two, three, four, five. Patrice is violin, lost soul, uh, gods, watcher in, uh, from another dimension, and shriveling. So, check Campbell log if you have more or equal doubt than conviction test intellect. Okay, so we might just die here. So, we are testing um, intellect. Uh, five, because our intel uh, willpower is five. Again, uh, with intellect one. So bye bye, Patrice. Zero doesn't help us. We'll take two damage. And that is the game. So we have taken seven damage, and it is <laughs> game over after a couple of turns because of this lost soul. 
Okay, well, uh, that was a weak one. Um, let's see at the resolution. I think we didn't get any experience out of this scenario. So, if uh, no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated. Record in your campaign log that you did not escape the gaze of the Phantom. Remove all cho special tokens and add two Elder Thin tokens. And Jordan Perry is not under VIP slaying. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Okay, well, uh, I think that was the fastest I have lost this scenario ever. But it is what it is, so... Um, what, two turns? Uh, one turn? Yeah, this was the first turn. Oh uh, no, the second turn. So two turns and we lost. So, okay. This uh, stealthy Bayaki really shuts, uh, shut us down. We didn't have enough willpower to defeat it. We didn't have good ways to, we, um, to evade it. Uh, we could have evaded it uh, somehow, but uh, we didn't have any, I think we didn't have any, yeah, we only had the Raven and the Sixth Sense, so we didn't have uh, cards to evade. And, uh, of course, I could have committed this to the test, but we drew like a minus four, so that doesn't matter. Yeah, well, that that is that. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the far in this scenario, I really like this scenario, but it is what it is. So we have now received two uh, physical trauma to Patrice and continue uh, do the pallet mass scenario, which is next. So hope you guys <laughs> like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.